Chapter 16 is about expected value. Expected value is your long run um, average where uh, the probability of each outcome occurring is a different probability. So you take each outcome, multiply it by its probability, and you add them all up. An example of where you'd see something like this would be weighted averages. Like for example, in this class, your test count is 70% of your grade, your quizzes count for 15% um, and your homework counts for 15%. So it's a weighted kind of average and we have a, uh, an expected value that would be based on those probabilities multiplied by your, your grade average for your tests or your grade average for your homework and so on. Alright, here's our first example. In this game we're rolling a die. If a 6 comes up the first time you win $100. If not, then we roll again. If the 6 comes up the second time, then you win $50. And if not, then you lose the game after two rolls if you didn't get a six. We're going to find the expected value for this game. Okay, there are three possible values for the amount that we can win. We can win $100, we can win $50, or we can win $0. Now the probability of winning $100 means that uh, we have a one in six chance of that happening because we could have gotten a six on the first time or we could have not gotten a six on the first time. The probability of getting a six the first time means that we have a one in six chance of that happening. If we don't get a 6 the first time, we want to get a 6 the second time to win $50. So that would be a 5 out of 6 chance times a 1 out of 6. You didn't get it first, but you did get it second. 5 out of 6 times 1 out of 6, which is 5 out of 36. Now, we could win nothing, and that would happen if we didn't get the 6 the first time and we didn't get the 6 the second time. And that's done by 5 out of 6 times 5 out of 6, which is 25 out of 36. Now, you're going to find the expected value by doing each dollar amount times its probability. $100 times one-sixth, $50 times 5 out of 36, and $0 times 25 out of 36, and you add them all up. So enter this in your calculator and get your expected value. You should get $23.61 if you've done this correctly. Take a second and do that make sure you can get $23.61. Now you can do expected value in your calculator. If you uh, go to stat edit in your calculator, we want to enter the dollar amounts as L1 and the probabilities as L2. And when you get those entered, you want to go to stat calculate, one var stats, put in L1 comma L2 afterwards and hit enter. Stat calculate, one var stats, L1 comma L2 and hit enter. And uh, I'll give you the expected value as the first entry, which is the X bar. And it should say $23.61. Okay, example two. We have a carnival game. We're offering a $100 cash prize for anyone who can break a balloon by throwing a dart at it. It costs $5 to play, and we're willing to spend up to $20 trying to win the 100 you estimate that you have about a 10% chance of hitting the balloon on any given throw. You must suck pretty bad. We're going to find the expected profit of our winnings, and then also we're going to find the expected number of darts that we'd have to throw if we were playing the game. Okay, let's start with the money or the profit that we're going to make. If we throw just one dart, then we would make a profit of $95. $100 we won, 5 to play the game. If we throw two darts, we would have made a profit of $90. If we throw three, we would have made a profit of $85. And if we throw all four darts, we could have either made a profit of $80 or we could have not hit anything and lost $20, meaning we had negative $20 profit. Now let's look at the first one. If we hit the first dart, there's a 10% chance of that happening. In the next scenario, we miss the first one, but we hit the second one. So that's 0 0.90 times 0 0.10 which is 0.09. In the third scenario, we miss two and then we hit the third one, so that's 0.90 to the second times 0.10, which is 0.081. In the fourth scenario, we miss the first three and hit the fourth one, which is 0.90 to the third times 0.10, or 0.0729. And then in the last scenario, we missed all four of them, which is 0.90 to the fourth or 0.6561. Now you're going to find your expected value. 
You can do this in your calculator or you can multiply each dollar amount times the probability and then add them all up. You should get $17.20. That 20 cents is rounded. It's actually like $17.19 and a half cents, but just round up to 20 cents. Make sure you can get this answer before you go on. Pause the video right here to make sure that everyone is on the same page and can get the answer. Okay, let's look at the expected number of darts. In the first scenario, we threw one dart. In the second scenario, we threw two darts. In the third scenario, we threw three darts. And then last, we could e have either thrown four darts and made the last one, or we could have thrown four darts and missed the last one. The probabilities are still the same that they were um, when we were looking at the dollar amounts. So it's just number of darts here instead, but the probabilities do not change. So you're going to multiply each number of darts times its probability and then add them all up, or you can enter this in your calculator. Stat edit to put them in, stat calculate one var stats, L1 comma L2, uh, and hit enter. Your expected number of darts is 3.4, so somewhere between three and four darts you would expect to throw if you were playing this game. Standard deviation, this is how far your um, data is deviating away or spreading out from the mean. On average, use the one var one variable stats feature on your calculator to do this. The uh, same place you do the expected value in your calculator. Standard deviation is towards the bottom of your screen. It's the lowercase sigma times x, and uh, it's in your calculator. It's just on the bottom of the one var one var stats screen when you do it. For example, if you look at the number of darts that we just did in the last example. When you put um, the data in your calculator and you get your 3.4 expected darts, look towards the bottom of your screen for the lowercase sigma, and you'll see that the standard deviation is 1.013 darts for a standard deviation. That means you would expect to deviate out about one dart in the higher low on average.